everybody. Welcome to the Dahlia Society. My name's Kristen. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about my favorite fabric shop right here in Victoria in Australia. So if you wanna hear what that is, keep listening. <laughs> Well, welcome back everybody. I'm so glad that you tuned in today. I know in this current climate today with um, there's a lot of uncertainty happening and a lot of people are feeling really anxious. So to have kind of a backup hobby like sewing, it can be a really good therapy. It could help um, kind of almost zone you out into another flow state, which can be really good um, because although we all have to keep up with the news and um, social events and see what's happening, it is nice to switch that off and to just take time to care for ourselves and especially having a creative hobby. Now, this is the perfect opportunity if you haven't already done so. Uh, it would be a great idea if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way you'll keep up to date with my new episodes, which I always try and get out at least once to twice a week. I'm making a really hard effort to keep these episodes coming because I think having a YouTube uh, there for people to watch is a really vital thing at the moment with a lot of people um, socially isolated. I think it's fantastic to have something there on standby that you can watch and keep you motivated and inspired while all the crazy stuff is going on. I'm not going to talk too much and put too much fear into people. I prefer to talk about sewing and keep everyone in a really positive mindset. And uh, I think the best thing that we can do as sewers and having that little bit of a stash, if you guys have got a stash of fabric there, I think it's a wonderful time to delve into that and to get cracking with some sewing projects. So if you guys have any sewing projects you've been putting off for a long time, this is a perfect time to do so. Um, just by looking online, I've learned a lot of things this week about my fellow vloggers. I've picked up on a few episodes um, just how brilliant the sewing community is and how they can make you really feel um, almost like you have a friend there online. So all my subscribers who love to comment every week um, and make me feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile, I must say it's a fantastic feeling to be reading that uh, those comments every time I post, post a vlog. But I also want to say that there's a lot of people that I follow and a lot of inspiration I gain from fellow YouTubers. Uh, one this week I would say would be Kim from Dorothy's Daughter who put out a wonderful video after she had to cancel her Mexico trip that she had sewn up a whole wardrobe to show uh, to showcase on her trip or well, because of the whole with coronavirus happening she had to cancel or postpone her trip. Um, and instead of, um, you know, all the doom and gloom and, and negative um, feelings put out there, she actually had a really inspirational uh, vlog that she posted. And I must say, it really, um, it was wonderful what she had to say. And I would suggest popping over to that to watch it just to, um, to make you feel better about what's going on. Another vlog I also love to watch is Stephanie Rublitz. Um, now, Stephanie put out a fantastic um, tutorial on how to do rolled hems. Now, rolled hems is something I've never actually got into before because I don't, didn't have the attachments. Um, but she's shown you just how easy it is to do a rolled hem on a garment. Um, and just something like that can really help you a lot if it's something that you've thought of doing but you've never had the right tutorial to watch. So I'm going to link that episode here so you can watch how she does that. And I'll welcome you to also support her channel because she's got some fantastic material there and she's very entertaining and very funny and very witty to watch so she is someone that will really boost your mood if you go on and subscribe to her channel you'll get some great value for all things about sewing so getting back to fabrics this day and age the current climate um, and how tough it's going to become for small businesses i think we need to support small businesses at the moment more than ever especially um, because at the moment a lot of people are still managing to post out if they have online businesses or if they work from home we need to jump on board especially these women that run um, things on their own i think they are brilliant um the, the company i'm talking about uh, one of my favorite uh fabric shops is an online store called seamstress fabrics and the lady cat that runs that you may not know this, I only just recently found out, but Kat is the person that started the whole Frocktails hashtag event on Instagram that's become a worldwide phenomenon that everyone knows about. I think just about every state, uh, every country around the world runs their own Frocktails events. A lot of those, unfortunately, had to be cancelled with, um, with the whole mass gatherings um, being cancelled. But on April the 4th, I think it is, don't quote me on that, but I will link it below, they are having a virtual frocktails night where everyone can dress up in their favorite frocktails gown 
have a quarantini cocktail i think they've called it which is a really fun idea and i think that will be going live on instagram that we can all post our hashtags and we can almost feel like we're at a frock tales event without actually virtually being there so that's how fantastic the internet can be and although there's a lot of negatives people will say with um with things online i think there's so many more positives that outweigh that um that can bring us all together especially as a community so don't forget that date so getting back to seamstress fabrics um the first time i spoke to kat was i was actually looking for a particular fabric that i uh, used in an episode with elisa shea we did a collab um, for her channel for thoughtful creativity back in December with a free pattern and I was desperate to find the Lady McElroy um, focus faces fabric and I'd seen it in the UK and you guys in the UK you get the most beautiful fabrics um, especially with the more luxury high-end range of fabrics we have a real uh, real trouble getting a lot of those over here in Australia and seamstress fabrics was the only place I could find that fabric here in Australia so I was thrilled when I found out she had that and she had at that stage quite a small um, range of fabric but they were all high-end really lovely fabrics the the kind of quality stuff that you're uh, if you're looking for something a bit more luxurious and a bit more um expensive that you would like to showcase the fabric and let the fabric do all the talking so seamstress fabrics had it there and i did love the fact that she had afterpay because i am a huge fan i used to be a huge fan of lay buying everything and i noticed on her website she has a lay by feature as well there so she can either you can either do lay by or afterpay or you can pay with credit card or whatever whatever suits you but the thing i love about her shipping is that everything comes in environmentally friendly compostable bags you subscribe to become a vip for seamstress fabrics you'll get ten dollars off your first order so when you hop over and look at her website Website. I will link everything below for you to see. You will notice that she has Australia's largest stock of the beautiful Italia brunette fabrics, which I absolutely lust after because the quality is impeccable. The prints um, and fabric textures are all like interchangeable, like everything you see there will mix and match with each other. So the thing I like about that is if you buy you know three or four things in the range you'll see that you they'll all complement each other beautifully so it's a great thing if you've got a wardrobe that you don't want to get too much into different prints that don't mix and match back the prints are very subtle but beautiful so she has over 40 new bolts of italia brunette fabric that have just come in and also some things on pre-order from, from what, what i've heard the classic shine buttons and the bias binding in the italia brunette range are on their way so if you're after something special like that then have a look at her page and look at her pre-orders because they are coming very shortly so let me show you some of the fabrics that i have got I was on her website and I had a few things in my little shopping caddy when um, when Kat actually offered to give me some fabric, um, which I'd already purchased some of her. So I was um, I just thought that was a, a beautiful, generous um, gift. So I offered to then showcase this on my YouTube channel. So I think it's important to let people know if you're gifted fabric because you love their their actual company itself. Never promote a business unless I felt personally that the fabrics were perfect for me and what I would use for myself. So I think it's very important to let you guys know that. So the fabric that Kat had gifted me, I actually had commented on her Instagram post that I was lusting after. It's the Shine Night Atelier Brunette in the navy and it is absolutely gorgeous viscose fabric and if you'll see uh, up close i will let you see the diamond print in it it's very subtle but actually it's exactly the colors that i wear in my wardrobe i wear the mustards and the bottle greens and the cream and i think this is the most gorgeous soft fabric i'll show you up close so you can see the drape in it is gorgeous but it's also a lot weightier than a normal viscose fabric so it's got that real quality and that lovely feel to it. Um, some viscose can cr like crease really, really badly as well, but this has actually got that nice, soft, drapey effect to it. So I just think in the sunlight, you'll see how well that would go back with so many things in my wardrobe. And I am planning on making with this a pattern that I'd mentioned last week on, um, on my vlog, the Dorada Davies Jasmine Dress. Now I will pop up some pictures of how the actual pattern looks made up and I had first seen this on Alex Judge's episode she made a beautiful I think it was like a burgundy color one and I just thought straight away that is exactly what I would wear so I'm thinking about making that in in that dress so I will hopefully have that made up very shortly for you guys to see now the fabric that I actually had purchased in my card I thought this is my kind of colors was the posy 
uh, Atelier Brunette, which the colors in that I just think is perfect for my wardrobe. And I can see that with either some um, green linen pants or even a mustard colorway in a mustard jean with like tan boots heading into like autumn or winter. I would just get so much wear out of that. But I'll show you up close the texture in the fabric. It has this beautiful weave to it, um, like a, almost like a dobby print. Now, it's slightly opaque as well, but I just think it's got a beautiful, um, beautiful weight to it and a beautiful drape. So I was thinking of, of making um, the matcha blouse from So Liberated. I think um, that's, I love that um, open neck tunicky style blouse, but with um, without too much volume. I, I, I'm loving a big sleeve at the moment, but I don't know whether I do that in a big sleeve. I just think this, the fabric's quite delicate. And I'm thinking more of an open neckline would look, would be more my, more my cup of tea. So that's what I'm thinking about for that. Now I'm going to talk about some of the other fabrics that um, Seamstress Fabrics have got in stock as well as Atelier Brunette. So they have quite a big range of that. They also have a beautiful range in their Tencel Atelier Brunette. Um, there's a gorgeous chestnut colour. I was that close to purchasing, but I might wait till next payday to get that um i've got a few things in mind for that um definitely love the colorways just all beautiful earthy tones also their crepes they look gorgeous the colors is a beautiful um sage green in the crepe that i've been eyeing off as well there now one of my most favorite fabrics would be art gallery fabrics she does stock art gallery fabrics she has lady mcelroy fabric merchant and mills fabrics there is Parpi, uh, See You at Six, and Mind the Maker. She also stocks a really big range of the Kylie and the Machine um, labels. If you'd like to pop your own label in the back, um, I think they're fantastic. There's such a huge variety of those on there as well. She also stocks a lot of big brand haberdashery items like Clover and your different little tools and haberdashery and hardware items as well. Seamstress Fabrics also is one of the biggest supplies I've seen of Jali patterns, which I am yet to make any Jali pattern, but I've heard really good things and I think they're very popular from what I've heard for day to day, especially sportswear or activewear patterns. So I'll be really keen to make some of those and see how they turn out. So don't forget to pop over to her website, sign up for the VIP and you'll get $10 off your first order. And I just think I encourage you all to support small businesses. I'm going to be promoting more small businesses the, um, the more episodes I do. I think if they're businesses especially that I normally shop from I love to promote them and being a one-woman show I think this kind of business is something we should all get on board and all be trying to to boost um, these people need our help at the moment so jump on board and you will love the service that you get to anything that um, is delivered with a handwritten card I think it's the most special thing in the world even I know a lot of people send lollies or little stickers or whatnot that's great but when you get a handwritten card and handwritten message with your name on it you can see that someone's put the thought into writing that and to me that's really extra special and that means the world to me so i love getting those little notes and keeping them for the future so pop onto her website and i'm sure you'll be impressed like i was now another little bit of um patent purchasing i did this week i as i say another another one woman show that a uh, pattern company that i love in the uk is marilla walker and i've made quite a few of her patterns before i've made the ishka dress I've also made the Mercury Collection top and pants as well and the Maya top, which is also a dress as well. The thing I love the best about Marilla Walker's patterns is the value for money you're getting. Not only are you getting interesting and unique designed um, patterns, which, which I don't think anyone can replicate. I think she has the edge over people for her unique styling and pattern in lot like lines of her patterns are just very unique as well. Um, so I popped over to her website and because I've got all her other patterns, I just thought, I'm going to have to get the add-ons now because I know the Is Iska dress that I've got that she has a shirt pack in that as well. So I actually bought the um, the shirt add-on to make a long line shirt and I'll just find the one here. So this is the add-on and the add-on bonuses are free. So if you already had the Iska dress, pop online and look for the shirt. You'll notice that because you've already bought the dress, the, the top will be actually free. So I think that's fantastic. It's really good value for money. The other thing I bought was the, which I'd spoken about before, was the Bellum Night Dress, which I absolutely love. I've seen so many versions of this and just thought, wow, I really need to make this dress. And also she has another free add-on to that with a Bellum Night um, free edition hack for the neckline. And you'll see with that, I'll pop a picture of what she's done. She's done an open neckline with the little tie at the front. So you can actually get like three or four different versions out of the one dress pattern, which is really good value for money as well. And a beautiful, beautiful dress as well. Um, the other thing I bought was her Evans skirt. 
and you know the patterns are real, really cheap actually i think you get great value for money because every pattern has at least two or three versions so it's um extremely good value that's in a long skirt or a shorter skirt and that one would be great in like a denim or a canvas okay and then the last thing i purchased from her was the roberts collection which is the overall and pinafore dress collection now you get one two three four five different versions in that one pattern which is fantastic but not only do you get that but you can go on once you've bought that and get the free add-on pack to do your long sleeve jumpsuit and long sleeve shirt like a top with a nice puff sleeve that one so it's such a fantastic way of getting value for money different looks for the patterns that you buy um, i just think nobody else really does it like her and i just think she's fantastic she's um a great person to follow on instagram as well she always has really interesting ways of placing fabrics and mixing and matching different fabric prints and patterns um, i just love what she's done with her latest bell night dress with the um the pattern fabric the different yoke to the sleeve and everything like that so i just think it's worth popping over to her website and having a look so i think we need to support these uh, independent women these business people that are really struggling at the moment especially this at the moment with the way things are and a lot of people are being you know in lockdown in solitude um i just think supporting an online business especially pdf patterns you can get at your fingertips and print out um it's something that you can use your time really wisely and hopefully we can all come out of this um, with a nice little stash of either you guys in the Northern Hemisphere having a nice big summer wardrobe or if we can, um, can knuckle down now and get our winter wardrobe sorted out, we can really use our time wisely and, um, and as I say, slowing things down a little bit and really looking within ourselves and seeing what's important in um, keeping safe and keeping healthy and, um, and doing what we love most, which is our sewing. So don't forget to head over to Seamstress Fabrics, uh, sign up to your VIP and get ten dollars off your first order. And yeah, if you want to just spoil yourself and get that little bit of luxury fabric, I think it'll be worthwhile to definitely to treat yourself. Um, and you know, it could be quality over quantity. You might just want that one little special garment or one top. Um, and once I think once you order that fabric and you see the quality there, you, you will absolutely fall in love with it. So, um, and also Marilla Walker Patterns, pop over to her website too and see what great, fantastic um, pattern bundles that she has there to keep you all busy. So I will um, see you very shortly for a new episode, which I have some new makes in the process at the moment. I've got a few half-finished things I will hopefully have um, to show you very soon. So if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. That will really help my channel. Thank you also to the amazing people that have just recently um, donated to my coffee. I greatly appreciate that. I've had some really lovely, generous people on there. Um, on, I can't thank you enough that those donations will go back into my channel to keep it bringing you more and more current episodes. And just thank you for everyone for watching and I um, hope to see you all very shortly. Bye for now.